And just there's our user found as boolean because we'll be using this as a condition in our do loop. Alright, so let's open our connections. Okay, so we're going to open our dbcom. Now, in quotes, provider is equal to microsoft.jet.oldb.4.0 semicolon. Don't forget that semicolon, very important. Now, and, and then underscore is just to write to a new line. I like to do that occasionally, it makes it a little bit neater. And we're going to go data source equals and the inverted comma inside of quotes because we keep allocation as one string. And I go and application dot startup path. So this as long and you remember where we put our database in project project bin debug, that's our startup path. So it will connect to the database no matter where you start your project from. And don't forget to end your brackets. Now we're going to open our record set. Yep. All of our comments are. Okay, so when we open our record set, our first field will be our table name. So we're going to go user.open and user table, that's our table name, remember, in our database. I'm going to go comma and our connection as opened before. And then we're going to, these are some settings. Do not worry about them, just keep them as I have. Basically, you can research them later. Uh, changing the settings changes whether it's read only, write only, basically, the different ways you can access your database. Just have them as I have, just keep it easier. Just some comments explaining what I just explained. Now, after this, we're going to initialize most of our variables. We're going to set user found to false because our do loop will be a do loop until user found equals true. You'll see how. Okay, so um, I'll put. I'll link the finished program in the comments so that you can download it. Please don't just download, know nothing about it and just use it because you know obviously you can easily do that but you'll learn nothing and that's not a good thing. You need to learn. Okay so user found equals false login which is our function name here equals false login and our function name login alright and we're going to go username, which is our query in quotation marks, equals user equals and inverted comma, um, text user dot text, and end inverted comma. Now this will, will basically ask the record set to find what we've entered in the text user text box. All right, so. This is basically how we pass our query. Now, after this, we're going to go into our do loop, and I'll explain when I get there. I'll also put up the text in the comments of what to do. All right, so do loop until user found equals true okay so we're gonna go user dot find and the username now this is going to find in the user record set what our string was so our string was username equals text to user dot text right so username equals is our field in the database so it will find the text user in the username field. Now, if user bof is equal to false and user eof 
is equal to false. Now BOF and EOF are beginning of file and end of file, so it will basically test for like if the sentinel value of our database has been reached, that means that the username has not been found. If if um, the username is not or if the sentinel value has not been reached and the username has been found, therefore obviously the username has been found. Okay, now after this we're going to do a little if statement which tests for case sensitive username. So if I had admin as in lowercase all lowercase a d m i n and if I had admin uppercase a lowercase d uppercase m lowercase i uppercase n then the if statement that we will write will handle the different um, the different um, cases of the username. Alright? Very simple if statement. Sorry these long comments. This wasn't originally narrated. Case. Okay, so now I'm going to go if. Um, oh, wait, no, actually, we're not going to do an if statement yet. Sorry, that's later. Now I'm going to go user db equals user dot fields username in quotes. Username in quotes is our field of our table dot value dot to string now user is our record slot record set sorry dot fields and in brackets username is obviously going to the username field and dot value dot to string is just telling you like user db which was defined as string if you remember that's how you're going to read the value of the user dot field okay it is important also to remember that if you're writing to the database, you want user.fields username.value, no to string. To string is just it is for reading from the database. Do not use to string when writing to the database. It will go like this is a application of an assignment. This cannot be written to, something like that. Alright? Now, now next, we're going to do same thing for password DB. Okay, pass DB equals user dot fields password in brackets and um, quotation marks dot value dot to string. Okay, so now we're going to do our if statement. If user db is not equal to text user dot text then user dot move next this basically moves to the next file so it doesn't read what we just found because it's the wrong case okay so there are, there's a there should be a different username out there if the username if the user is typing his or her username in a different case so it'll move to the next one and this this is pretty much essentially the only reason why we do our do loop so that when it moves next it then goes back into the do loop and then finds the move next um, file okay so so I'm done now I'm gonna go else um, user else user found is true because if user db is equal to text user dot text then our user found is true we found our user okay so we're then I'm going to write a statement if pass db is equal to text pass dot text then we're going to close our connections okay so user dot close and db con dot close and we're going to return from this function true so when we or when we click on our button eventually it will test whether our function was true or whether our function was false if the function was true then it logs in if the function was false then it does not log in as said here the login error then because it's in the if statement if pass db equals text pass dot text it does that else if pass db is not equal to text pass dot text 
then our login error will be invalid password and we close our connections, always close your connections and we return false. Now here, okay, so after two end ifs, if no, that's assuming that Visual Studio automatically created the end ifs for you, as you can see, it's an else of the user BOF and user EOF. So if the Sentinel value is true, as in it's reached our Sentinel value, then our login error is going to be invalid username because we can't find your username. And then we're going to close our connections again and return false again. Now just copy that outside the loop just in case it doesn't enter the loop for whatever reason. Okay, now that's all we have to do for our function. Our function should work perfectly. Okay, so all we need to do is add our little if statement on our button. So we're going to go if login equals true, then uh, message box dot show you logged in or something, whatever text you want really, logged in. Obviously you can add more functionality within that if statement, like open a new form, whatever. Now comma login message, that, that's just the title of our message box. Okay, now we go else, so if login equals false, message box dot show, and then we're going to show our login error, okay? And then just comma and our title again. Now, this will work, or should work for 32-bit computers now, except if you have a 64-bit computer, you need to change your um, build mode. So in our configuration man man manager, we're going to go in the top right combo box, select new, and then in there we're going to select x86. I'm going to close, and now it should work fine for x86, um, for 64-bit. For 32-bit, you need to make sure that the build mode is in all CPU mode. Ta-da, logged in. All right, now we're going to change our username. Oh no, wrong username. Put our normal user and delete our pass. Oh no, wrong password. There you go, it's all working. Thanks, guys.